know I'm not alone when I say I know what fear is. I know I'm not alone when I say I know what it feels like, what it sounds like, even what it tastes like. Fear can consume us. It can control our thoughts, our minds, our appetites. Fear is powerful. And I lived a life of fear for 19 years. Despair, hopelessness, the sense of being alone, and defeat were my companions. I held them with me every single day. I didn't want to get out of bed in the morning, but I had companions, and it was fear. And it was despair. And it was a sense of being lost, and I was okay with it. I chose that life at that point in time. I was living it. I was accepting it. Fear was almost like my friend because I knew nothing else. You can choose to live in fear, as I did. Or you can choose to focus on who you truly are and the desires of your heart and forget the fears. Because when you don't give them power, they don't rule you anymore. It took everything in me when after a horrific traffic accident, the specialist told me, Maxine, you are never gonna walk again. Okay. I sat there going, all right, am I going to let fear control me again? Or am I going to take this opportunity to turn this into a positive? So literally, day after day, the specialist told me, you'll never walk again. And I said, I am not going to take that as an answer. That's not who I am. That's not the desire of my heart. And no way, no how. Yes. So every day, literally, in pain, I took one step. I didn't have to prove it to anybody else. I had to prove it to me. The next day, let me out of my bed. They said, it's not safe. You could hurt yourself. You could be permanently damaged. You could end up in a wheelchair. I said, forget it, one more step. Here I am today. I'm walking, I'm running, I do rock climbing. I've got use of all of my body, but no, my spine's not straight. And sometimes I do tend to stand a little bit like this, but if that's the worst, that those specialists ended up telling me was gonna happen, I said, amen, bring it on. <laughs> the next part of my journey is the part that I have never been able to share before. For 19 years, I was trapped. I was a prisoner of my own home. And that was because I found out that my marriage was not a marriage at all. Behind closed doors, things were different. Things were very, very different. I was raised with core values. I wanted to live in those values. I wanted to be a supportive wife and an amazing mom that's not who I was behind closed doors. I was a slave. I was told to keep quiet if I wanted to live. I was told don't open your mouth if you want to see your children tomorrow morning. I brought fear back in and I held on to it tight because there was no way that anyone was going to harm my babies.
I took a stand several years ago. And I removed the person from my life who was supposed to be my support and my companion till death do us part. And I said, I can't do this anymore. I risked it all and I grabbed my children and we started over. And I said, screw off fear, look out world, because Maxine's back. <laughs> so I took my stand. I started living from my heart because I knew who I was, but I just wasn't allowed to be her. I knew what I wanted. I had those desires. I knew I wanted to be a successful businesswoman. I knew that I could raise my two boys, who are now 19 and 16, to be young men who respected a woman. And as a proud mom, I can say now that they do. I lead my life by example. Am I perfect? <laughs> no way. I am perfectly imperfect. And my children love me that way. It wasn't easy. It was definitely not easy. But I had to focus my conscious mind on the things that I desired, not on those fears who were, re who were guiding me down a life of despair, of sadness, of being alone, of holding on to the hurt of the past. Because I don't have to live in that. Several years ago now, several years ago, I met the most amazing man. He's here with me tonight. And it was such simple words that he told me. He said, you have a past. I said, yeah. And when I heard those four letters put together, P-A-S-T, my past, I always thought of those specialists, you're never going to walk again. People who said, now you can't ever have babies because of the injury to your spine. You're not beautiful. You must do this. You are that. You are that. You are that. That's what I always thought of my past. But he said, did we have fun yesterday? It was the most amazing date we had been on. Absolutely, I had fun. Did you have fun the day before? Well, yeah. You know, my son got his license. That's awesome. He now gets to drive my car all over, all over town. Did you have fun the day before? Well, yeah. He goes, that's your new past. That's your new past past. And on our living room wall now, I have pictures of all of those moments that we've spent together with my two boys and his two boys as a new family that is now my new past. And every day I look at those and I say, that is the type of life I want to live. Every single day, I look at those and say, that is the life I want to live. So the key to success is to focus your conscious mind, not on the things that you fear, but on the things that you desire. And that is how I have chosen to live a life that I love. Thank you.